Okay, today we are testing these York Johnson Controls Simplicity Economizers. So we had to download the York Simplicity software, Simplicity PC software. Uh, there we go, Simplicity PC. So if you go to uh, Simplicity software download, the first thing that pops up on Google, you can find that download there. So <clears throat> we've got a RS-485 to USB cable. We got the 15 footer from DigiKey and we soldered on this Molex connector. Had to figure out which connections to make. That goes right into the uh, economizer expansion board. And uh, this is the unit board. You can also connect it to the unit board and uh, hopefully call on compressors and things like that. But right now we're just messing with the economizer board. So we got it plugged in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a connection. Let's see if I can get this screen to show up. Right there. So we're gonna go up to, it's hard to see. Add connection. And then down here. Okay, port number. You can add a name up top, but that's optional. Should just give you one uh, option for port. So it's port six on in this case. I'm gonna add that and then it pops up in this tree right here so that's that's our connection that's the name of our connection so then we click scan oh yeah we got is the units off isn't it flip the disconnect on oh yeah hold on okay disconnect disconnect is on fan came on all right, so I'm gonna rescan. Now the thing is awake. We're gonna rescan. There we go. So this little, this little uh, plus sign has popped up. So now we have something underneath our connection. That's the RTU. Click on that, and then over in the window, uh, a bunch of stuff pops up. Uh, all of these uh, tabs pop up. So. Under sensor readings, you're going to find your outdoor air temp sensor right here. Right now it's at 55. And you can also have your cool settings. In cool settings, you're going to find the occupied cooling set point. If you double click that, you can change it. And we're going to run it down to 65 right now so that we can get a cool call going. And then we're going to go back to our sensors. And we're gonna watch so right now our outdoor air temp is 55 degrees but right now I'd say it's probably 75 degrees outside so the way that we're doing that is we've come over here to the controls section and we found our outdoor air temp sensor for a second. right there okay so we unplugged that Molex connector and on the other end of that Molex connector we stuck some wire in there and clamped it into our variable resistor uh, so that by turning this knob this is a, a 10k potentiometer and it's a, it's also a 10k uh, outdoor temp sensor so by turning that knob we can run the temperature up and down so right now it's at 55 uh, what we've been seeing on these units is that uh, we'll have a compressor call above I think 56 go ahead and run it up a little bit which would be let me see what's happening uh, should be go ahead and move it a little bit it hasn't moved yet oh yeah hold on a second hold on we got to click auto refresh so that way we can see it Okay, we're at 46, so go the other way. We've got to run it up till it's hot enough so that it will actually bring on its compressors. Let me know what the numbers are. We're at 57 now, so that's good. You can go ahead and stop it there. 
that's good. So we're at 60.3 and that's fine. We're gonna see if these compressors will kick on, give us a cooling call. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it down past 54. At 54 degrees, we've been seeing the compressors shut off and the outside air damper open. So now we're just waiting for a cool call.